Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a Q&A session where I answer all your questions that you have about Sunday Swap ISO and how to get your free airdrops. So I've looked at all the questions that you've asked me on my previous video and I've compiled them on just one video. And thank you so much for asking those questions because those questions have formed an episode of the show. And also make sure that you give this video a like because I'm also preparing another five cryptocurrencies that are going to be ad dropped in 2022. So you want to make sure that you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss those five potential ad drops of cryptocurrencies that you can absolutely get for free. Oh, hey, this is me from the future. I want to tell you that the testnet is up and running. So I'm going to be testing it live uh, from this video as well. So somewhere in this video, we're going to be diving to this segment of the video where we're going to be testing the test net and obviously have our fake or play money uh, so that we can obviously have a look at the exchange and how everything works. The first question is how much ADA is required in order for you to start staking and get your free Sunday swap tokens. You can stake and delegate up to 10 ADA in order for you to get your free Sunday swap tokens. But remember, you still have to account for some transaction fees, so about two ADA there. So make sure that you maybe, if the, that's the minimum that you can afford, make sure that you maybe you're just pushing it to 15 to 20 ADA. The next question is what's the date of the screenshot for the stakers address for free tokens? Can we stake now and qualify for free tokens? I guess this question is like, what's the date where the blockchain is gonna take a snapshot for all the delegators and start paying them the rewards? What you need to understand is that the rewards are gonna be paid per epoch. This means that every five days, from the launch of the ISO. But we're gonna dive into what is an epoch later in this video. So we wanna make sure that you keep watching. Now, another question I got is, can't they steal your coins if you're staking with your Roy wallet? Now you need to understand that when you're staking, um, the funds never really leave your wallet. However, you're just delegating to the staking pool so that you can validate transactions. I've already made videos in this channel about what is staking and how does it work. And I'm gonna leave those videos in the description of this video. Another question I got is, can I stake my ADA on a Cardona stake pool and still receive Cardona and get Sunday swap token? This is a very good question. And yes, you'll be getting both your ADA rewards and still your Sunday swap tokens. The next question is, I'm currently staking with Exodus Wallet. Can I still get my airdrops if I switch and delegate with one of those stake pools? And that is absolutely correct. If you do switch, I'm not sure if uh, Exodus does support uh, these specific pools. However, if it doesn't, um, the last time I used Exodus Wallet was about five years ago. The transaction fees were just way too much at the time. It was before Bitcoin Cash actually. Uh, so the transactions were way too much. So I decided to stop using Exodus Wallet, but I know it's a very good wallet. So if you do want to get these tokens, you obviously have to follow the steps that I mentioned on my previous videos. Again, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description of the video. So just make sure that maybe you change your wallet and then delegate through these staking pools using either Deadless wallet, your Roy wallet, or other wallets that are supported. The next question is, the more ADA you stake, the more you'll be able to receive on the airdrops. This is, I think this is correct. So because um, remember, the more you stake, the more ADA that you get on your wallets. Now, Sunday Swap team did address sort of like um, the whales. And, and remember, if you really are a whale, you can always just split your, your, your funds through different wallets. Um, but I believe that the most the more um, ADA that you have staked, the more you will be able to receive per epoch. I'm not sure about that, um, but obviously I stand to be corrected. The next question is, can I get Sunday Swap by staking on ADA Lite? I think that is correct. You can do that. And the only thing that you have to do is just claim your tokens once they are available on the website. But I'm going to talk about that later in this video. This question was, do you stop getting your ADA if you stake with those pools? I think I've already answered this, um, that you get both your ADA and still you still get your free airdrops. Now, this question is a very important one. It says, how about those delegation pools like Pulse that has you know, more than one staking pools, which means they have one, two, three, and four. Which one should I select? Now, let me just make a quick example here. If I come to my wallet and click on delegation list. From here, I'm just gonna select Bloom, which is one of the stake pool that I know. Uh, this guy who owns this pool is also a YouTuber. You can use this pool as well. Um, if you look here, you've got Bloom one, two, three, four, five, and so on. 
Now, this is what you need to pay attention to is the oversaturation. I'm gonna talk about that maybe later also in this video or I can just cover it here. So you need to make sure that you are in the pool that is not oversaturated. You can see it here, the original pool, which is Bloom One, has over 62 million ADA staked on this pool. And you can see by this red uh, sort of like uh, color here that this pool is now oversaturated. When the pool is oversaturated, the rewards may be reduced as well. So you wanna make sure that you select a pool that is not oversaturated. You can see here on the pool size, so you can see the other pools, one, two, three, four, five, these other pools here are not saturated. So if you wanna delegate, you can select those pools. And obviously the same thing goes with Paul as well. And with Paul as well, you can see that this pool is more saturated than this one. But to answer your question is that if you delegate with either of these pools, you'll be eligible to get those free tokens. Now, these next key points are not necessarily questions, but if we go through them, we'll be able to be better informed when it comes to this ISO. Now, one of those key points is how much Sunday swap will be paid to the public. And I believe that about 5% of the total supply will be actually a drop for free to the public. I'm gonna leave the link to the white paper so you can actually go read even further if you are interested in doing that. So find the link in the description of this video. Now, another question or another point that you may be asking yourself is how much does it cost to change a stake pool. Remember, let's say for example, you are already uh, staking or delegating on a different pool that is not on a list, which means that you have to change. So let's go through that. If you were already staking and delegating, remember that you don't have to wait for that 15 days or 16 days waiting period. So to start delegating will cost you about two ADA and to switch pools will actually not cost you another two ADA. However, it will just cost you about 0.1 or 0.2 ADA. That is just switching from one pool to another pool. So that's very, very cheap. And remember, you're still gonna make that money back with rewards to all the ADA rewards that you'll be getting on your wallet. The question I wanna go back to is when is the ISO? Now the ISO will actually start when the DEX here goes live. So when this decentralized exchange goes live, that's the day where the ISO is also going to start. And some of you may be asking yourself, when exactly is that? Um, so that will be after this test net. As you can see here, we've got a test net. And what's going to happen now is that the team has to take all the feedback that they got from this test net and then be able to um, tweak or make changes or rectify any mistake that they may have done on the code and then go live. So I think that may take about a week to two. So I'm looking at the end of December because depending on how many bugs were found on the system, that's really what's gonna determine when are we gonna be launching. So stay tuned for that and subscribe so that when it happens, you obviously get alerted. Another question that people are asking is how long will the ISO last for? Um, so in order for us to answer the question, we need to understand what is an epoch because the ISO will actually last five epochs. So these lots actually go into something called an epic. So the ISO will actually last five epics. So the period of one epic is actually one week. No, it's actually five days, which means that the ISO will actually go for 25 days. But what you should be doing so long is to make sure that you have your funds staked on your Roy wallet and you're staking with the right uh, scooper or the right delegator. And for those of you who don't know the delegators that you should be delegating with, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So that's how long the ISO is gonna last for, which is five epoch. Like I said, one epoch is five days. So just keep that in mind. All right, now that we covered all those questions, let's have our first look at the sweetest decentralized trading protocol on the Cardano network. Obviously, this is still the test net, but obviously it's looking really, really good. Um, I like to keep it like this instead of this. And obviously we're gonna be making more videos and showing you guys how this thing works. So, but what you need to do is to connect your wallet and just keep in mind that this only work with NAMI wallet at this moment. So make sure that you have the NAMI wallet extension. Um, you can see I've got my extensions right here. So this is the extension that you should be looking for. Once you have the extension connected, you wanna make sure that you come to your wallet and make sure that the wallet is actually running on the test net as well. So to do that, you come to this icon here and click on that and go to settings. On setting, then select network. You can see that I'm running on a test net. If I go to the main net, you'll see everything will change. But I'm just gonna keep it on a test net for now and then go back. 
So once you are on a test net, then you come to the guide here. And obviously you have to make sure that you, you have the extension, you are connected the wallet, and then you loaded the funds. After that, then you can come and play around with the exchange and sort of like get a feel of how it will work. And if you find any issues, you can actually write to the team. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video of the form that you can fill it up uh, so that you can send it directly to them. So what you need to be doing is obviously coming here and maybe select ADA and then select other cryptocurrency. For example, here, obviously this is just for testing purposes. This is like fake money. So I can say I want to swap five ADA for Mint and obviously you need to be connected. So let me connect. Now that I'm connected, you can see here, I'm moving from ADA to Mint, then I can hit swap. From here, you can see all the transactions and school pass and all the stuff, hold for swap. Okay, you need to hold a little bit longer and release. And just like that, you'll be able to um, test this system. And obviously I'm seeing this pop-up coming on my left and I don't know if that's the clinch or that's how it's supposed to happen. So that's how you test the system. If there's something you don't like, like I said, I'm gonna leave the form in the description of this video so that you can write directly to the team. If you wanna see more updates once the exchange go live and the ISO goes live, you wanna make sure that you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you are alerted every time I make those videos. And I've also got another video coming up of five potential airdrops that are gonna be happening in 2022. So you wanna make sure that you don't miss that video as well. If you wanna know how to actually stay your ADA so that you can be eligible to get these free Sunday swap tokens. You want to make sure that you check the video popping up on the screen right now. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure that you give this video a like, leave a comment on the comment section below. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Peace.